cancer and all inherited diseases could be wiped out within just two decades using gene editing. A leading scientist has claimed Dr. Ed Westra from the University of Exeter says gene editing techniques such as CRISPR-Cas9 may usher in a golden era of health. CRISPR is a cut and paste technique where specific sections of double stranded DNA are snicked out and replaced with wanted genetic material. Dr. Wester believes the ability to splice selected DNA into cells with great precision is destined to become super important in the next two decades. He foresees it transforming the human race by creating generations of people for whom cancer, failing vision, and the diseases of old age or bad genes are distant memories. The bioscientist said there is always a risk with this kind of technology and fears about designer babies and we have started having discussions about that so we can understand the consequences and long-term risks. I think in the coming decades gene editing will become super important and I think we will see it being used to cure all inherited diseases, to cure cancers, to restore sight to people by transplanting genes. I think it will definitely have massive importance. On Tuesday, two highly influential academic bodies in the U.S. shook up the scientific world with a report that, for the first time, acknowledged the medical potential of editing inherited genes. The National Academy of Sciences and National Academy of Medicine ruled that gene editing of the human germline eggs, sperm and embryos should not be seen as a red line in medical research. Many critics insist that powerful new gene editing techniques should never be used to alter inherited DNA. They argue that such a move would be the start of a slippery slope leading to designer babies with selected features such as blue eyes, high intelligence or sporting prowess. But the two pillars of the American scientific establishment said that with necessary safeguards, future use of germline gene editing to treat or prevent disease and disability was a realistic possibility that deserves serious consideration. Dr. Wester is taking part in a discussion on gene editing and its potential implications for society at the American Association for the Advancement of Science annual meeting in Boston. He said gene editing technology not only held out the promise of fixing genetic faults but could be used to turn cells into miniature factories that churned out therapeutic chemicals or antibodies. One application was the use of gene drives that increased the prevalence of a certain trait in a population. For instance, gene editing machinery placed inside the cells of large numbers of malaria-transmitting mosquitoes could prevent them spreading the organism that causes the disease to humans. It could be a fantastic strategy to deal with some of the world's biggest problems, said Dr. Westra. In terms of ethics we need to work at what happens if a genetically engineered insect flies out of the window of the lab. Trials into gene drives are already happening in labs for malaria. The most promising form of gene editing, known as CRISPR-Cas9, was first demonstrated in 2012. It makes use of a defense system bacteria used to protect themselves against viruses. A carefully targeted enzyme is used as chemical scissors that cut through specific sections of double-stranded DNA. Then the cell's own DNA repair machinery can be exploited to insert the pasted genetic material. Dr. Westra said gene editing is causing a true revolution in science and medicine because it allows for very precise DNA surgery. A mutation in a gene that causes disease can now be repaired using CRISPR.